his hands during a fireworks accident on Wednesday. According to our Adam Schefter's right index finger was amputated. And according to our Ed Warder, he also fractured his right thumb. The thumb is expected to take longer to heal than the wound from the amputated finger. JPP is not the only player who had a fireworks mishap. The Buck CJ Wilson also lost two fingers over the holiday weekend. Unfortunate, unfortunate news. Gentlemen, what is your take on this JPP situation? It, it's just a bad situation. You know, NFL players know there's certain things we probably shouldn't do. But is fireworks one of them though? Do you put that in that category of riding now, motorcycles? Now it for sure is. So. <laughs> yeah, but I mean there's a ton of things we do as players that you know we do all the time. You know, he might have been a guy that did fireworks for X amount of years, you know, did it every year, there was never a problem. It just so happens the one year that for him you really don't want to make it a problem in your, you know, still kind of his contract year going through the franchise tag was this year and now you're sitting there where, you know, we don't know exactly what, if his whole finger or was amputated, but now you have a fractured thumb. It's going to take longer to get back. But I think he's kind of maneuvering in the right direction as far as now he's focused on what's best for my career. You know, he felt it was best that when the Giants came, no, you can't see me. I don't want you to throw me on this list, uh, the, you know, the non-football related injury list, and I don't get paid. So, you know, now I think for him is getting past the stupid incident and, and trying to get to, you know, what's best for me career-wise. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, for him right now, you have to be smart professionally. And he, the Giants own his right because they gave him a franchise tag, but he hasn't signed anything. So he's not under contract. So he doesn't have to let them see his thumb or his hands or they anything. They could pull of that, that tag, too. Exactly. And for him, if they do pull the tag, okay, now I'm an unrestricted free mm -hmm. agent. I can shop myself to other teams. I can go showed him my injury, show him when I'll be back, when I'll be ready to go. And now I can kind of get to where I wanted to get in the beginning of the offseason is to be a free agent. That's where everybody everybody wants to be if you can't sign that long-term deal that you want with your team. So for him, the worst of the worst, if they uh, pull the tag, then I'll be a free agent. I'll be able to go to wherever I want in the NFL. I know it's going to sound crazy to say this, but he was kind of fortunate, wasn't he? Because this could have been a lot I'm worse. So if you're him, you're kind of thanking your lucky stars that this was the case, that it, it was just this. And I know it sounds crazy to yeah. say you just lost a finger and you just fractured your thumb. Um, but obviously it could have been worse and then really kind of hampered his career moving forward. It could have been career threatening. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, it's not going to be. And according to our Adam Schefter, you know, his sources say he'll be back uh, on the yeah. field, you know, pretty yeah. soon here. Well, you know, once the thumb recovers. Yeah. Um, but if you're the Giants, you're in a tough spot. That's what I was going to say. What do the Giants do now? you got to keep them with that tag. Like, you Absolutely. can't remove that tag because there are going to be teams lined around the block to yeah. sign him. If you could get after the quarterback, everybody wants you. Yeah. And, you know, for the Giants now, it's sit and wait. But if we sit and wait now, what happens next time we franchise a guy and something goes wrong or we have another guy in a situation? You know, it might not be JPP, but he might be a guy that's just important. You know, a young guy like Odell Beckham. Let's say he gets in something mm -hmm. and he's already showed a lot of promise in this league. Do you want to, you know, set a precedent that, you know, we're if you're talented enough, you know, you can kind of do what you want and we'll wait. And, you know, being in a team on a team like New England, you see different things. You see guys getting in trouble, got different things, and you see guys just gone. Yeah. And then, you know. Well, you had a running back who, uh, who was overslept one day and then didn't play again. And, and that's <laughs> what it Patriot is. You know? The and Patriot that's why they win. That's what but it's Grunk is doing party cruises. He's <laughs> a different story. That party bus told him. I don't want to put as, you in a bad spot. As far as we know. That didn't get an invite to the party bus. So, you know, <laughs> no, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, get my way on that cruise ship, you know. But as far as we know with Grunk, he just has a good time, you know. It's never any incidents, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's true. He's not hurt, so I from get, his partying. So. Get into that subject though with these incidents, like say it's Brady with the cliff diving. Obviously, you get to live your normal lives, but you're signing these contracts with these teams, getting paid millions of dollars. How is that as a player? Do you say, all right, I'm going to sacrifice. I'm not going to participate in X activities, and is fireworks one of them? I think some activities, but you know, I think it's hard for some guys that have been doing some things for their whole life. You know, how what do you just you say? Do? Give me an example. What's something? you're gonna say me like I wouldn't I wouldn't get on a motorcycle okay I just you would know, you have if you didn't play in the NFL there's a chance. Yeah, I will yeah. try it. I'm not, I'm not cliff diving. I can't swim. <laughs> unless, that unless, count. unless someone's waiting in the water to bring me to, you're to the side. You're not going to be surfing with Mariota? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, if he teaches if me how to ride, if he, ride, Hawaii, I mean, if he teaches me to? how to ride a surfboard, I'm, I may go out there. That seems like a lot of fun. But you know, once he gets his contract signed and yes, everything's all yes, cool, yes. maybe we'll take a trip to Hawaii and learn how to ride some surfboard. Yeah, That's no skydiving then? No skydiving? See, I would skydive. Yeah. I, I, mean, I would do that now, though. Like, I want to wait. You Please. think so? Yes, keep your money in your pocket. So no you've done skydiving. It? No, none of that. We, we're seeing what's happening. No, Please, Scott, stay healthy. I mean, Tom Brady jumped off a cliff and he won a Super Bowl, so maybe that is the key. <laughs>
Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Live on the edge a little. Don't, don't get him going on Tom Brady, man. Well, that, don't worry. That, we, that got that time. we got a lot of time to talk about I want to talk more about Gronk's cruise. Like, I think that's what we need to have. I think that might be a No, let's talk about JPP and the Giants. What do the Giants do here at this point? What would you do? Do you keep him? I mean, because here's the only issue, right? Grabbing players. He can still rush the passer, but, I mean, with, with the amputated finger. Without a doubt, you keep him. I mean, we had a defensive lineman, Rapati, who played two years straight, mm -hmm. uh, broke his hand in preseason, was still able to play. And uh, the first year had the best year of his career. So, I mean, a fractured thumb, that's going to heal. He's going to be ready to go. So, without a doubt, you keep him. You wait for him to get healthy. And uh, like Schefter said, it doesn't expect to be a long time. So, you just have to wait. And who knows? He might not even been showing up for training camp anyway, being that he hadn't signed his franchise tag. So, you may not be missing out. He just has to hope he gets healthy and he's able able to get his strength back and be ready to go when the season starts. And I have seen some people say it was silly that he didn't sign it, but he was holding out for a max contract. Yeah. Can you blame the guy in I terms of wanting security? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was good to get the 14. Without a doubt. He had a great season and uh, all of that. No skydiving for either of you, everybody I gotta try. on the field. It no, after you retire, you have plenty of time. I might be too, I might be too old by then. Fireworks, <laughs> whatever you want to do, surf, but for now, uh, no, that's it. All right, but we're talking about another New York team. Last year, J.J. Watt was the unanimous defensive player of the year and the first player in NFL history to record two seasons with more than 20 sacks. How about them apples? And let's not forget what the man did on the scoreboard. Five TDs and a safety. So now he's been voted as the number one player in NFL.com's top 100 players voted on by the players themselves. J.J. Watt finished ahead of Aaron Rodgers at two, Tom Brady third, DeMarco Murray fourth, and Peyton Manning in fifth. Is J.J. Watt the best player in the NFL. Devin, you want to go first? Bring in the defense. It's about time. Defense wins <laughs> championships. <laughs> it's about time we get That's a defensive player and not a quarterback at that number one spot. I mean, the guy scored touchdowns. He had sacks. He recovered yeah. fumbles and interceptions. Batted the ball. To, I mean, clearly to me, I thought he dominated the game from a defensive tackle position. That's hard, you know, and I think he deserves that number one spot. And the whole the players... The players voting all that, I'm not going to lie. A lot of players, we just write names in there. We really don't care. You just care. pick your boys? It's a, like, You're like, we're hey, in college together. Like, I'll go in there, I'll be like, oh, 20 New England Patriots. And that's what I'll write down there. So we but, shouldn't trust the list? Give or take. That's but I do think J.J. Watt, I do think he, he Are was you the saying best that because you, you, you should have been on the list and you weren't? I'm, I'm even going to say you should have been on the you list. You weren't on the top 100? No. On the top. What? But I guess that's a debate for another day. And I, we can I, debate it if you want. <laughs> I agree. J.J. Watt, I mean, playing against a guy twice a year, we played him down in Houston. He got a sack fumble, picked up the ball, got pushed out of bounds. They ran the ball. They did, got down by the goal line. They subbed him in. He subbed in as a tight end and scored a touchdown. When you're on the sideline and you watch a guy do all of that, mm -hmm to impact his team, he's, he was the number one player last year. I mean, 20 well, sacks. You, you watched him take the selfie, too, on the field. That was pretty cool. And that's another he debate. He got more touchdowns on the whole Chief squad, right? The, yeah, their the receivers, receivers, right? receiving yeah. squad. Yeah. Um, that's impressive. Listen, he's great. He is the best defensive player in the league right now. Him and Revis, I would say. I, I yeah. probably would have Revis personally. I hear but, a butt coming. But I'm going to channel my inner Stephen A. Smith right now and say, what about that bad man, Aaron Rodgers? How can you do that man dirty? Listen, the quarterback position, I know you guys are defensive guys, is by far the most important position. It's why even average guys are making big bucks at That's that true, position. True. So he is the best quarterback in the league at the most important position it is a travesty that Aaron Rodgers is not number he went one full Stephen A on us a ludicrous <laughs> he's number two number two is good enough but like Dev said it's about time defensive <laughs> guys start getting credit and look how the Super Bowl ended defensive play yeah your boy Malcolm saying. Butler Malcolm yeah. Butler and you can't you JJ Watt has been dominating yeah but you know what Aaron Rodgers hits the wide receiver there Mm. No time, mm. Come on. I know you don't want to take a shot at Russell. Interception, game over. That's all. Aaron Rodgers throws a touchdown there. Or they run the ball. Who knows? Right. We're not rewriting. Maybe we stop the run. <laughs> or he throws it incomplete. <laughs> But yeah, you, guys, you guys know, I want to just mention this really quick. It's a cool story. You guys know another guy in that defense really well, Brian Cushing. So when you're in high school, North Jersey, right? Six NFL, uh, potential NFL NFL players yeah. and were in that game, right? Who, so it who was, would have uh, thought? 
Yeah. Bergen Catholic, Montville. Who are some of the guys? St. Joe's, Montville. Yeah. Ourselves, Brian Cushion, uh, Jim Dre, uh, tight end, Junior Gillette, defensive end was on our team, and also wide receiver Isaiah Williams. So it was a ton of talent. You know, Cushion, Jer so you should look out for those Cushion guys. Cushion had the best game that game. Yeah, five touchdowns. I hate to. We won't speak All about right, it. we got we got to leave that story <laughs> there though. But uh, George, thanks so much for being with us here. Great you are the vet. Thanks for putting up with. Uh, These guys are pros. You're yes. a pro. Yeah, I'm not the first vet. Day. Here. Come on. First she, day. We appreciate she acts it. like she's not she's a vet. She's a pro. I'm a rookie and a vet. All right. Just like Drake. <laughs> After the break, the McCordy twins will answer some hard hitting questions. Stay tuned. First take rolls on. Let's start with you. What's your greatest Gronk story? Greatest Gronk story has to be. Uh, we play Green Bay, uh -huh. we fly straight to San Diego, so we're in San Diego for the whole week. So a bunch of us decided we're going to rent a bus and drive down to L.A. Why wouldn't you? You know, Tuesday was off day, we drove down there Monday. So we're in the club <laughs> and Gronk is in there Stop doing his it. dance moves. So, you know, quite well, naturally, again. we're all looking like, what are you doing? And he was all in like, these are my best dance moves. I'm one of the best dancers I've ever seen. Going cr it was ridiculous. And it was terrible. Ridic so that set of terrible. him getting his own party bus? It might be. I right? think that That's took his happens? dancing to the next level. Oh. All right. Let's go to you here, Jason. Who wins in a game of one on one? Uh, that's easily me. You know, uh, we both high school basketball players. Uh, mm. I was the uh, first team all no county. No one trick player. ponies over here. You know, he was the second second team all county player. Then all you asked was who was going to win one on one. It would be me. But we I don't, don't, don't want to hear your We have a court back here. I know. Um, last time we were here, Doug Gottlieb challenged us. Okay. And, you know, he was a college basketball player, yeah. so that might be a step out of our league. But Dev, we that's, go two on one. That's, okay. that's, yeah, that's, I can't that's challenge good. you, but uh, this one I, I might be able to answer. No, who was the bigger ladies' man growing up? Oh, that was me. I mean, I, I, I was the one who was always with a girlfriend. Dev was always the one tagging behind, pulling on my coattails. Everyone knows the guy that's always. Maybe with he the girlfriend. just wanted to be single. The guy oh, always no. with the girlfriend is the guy who can't get a lot of girls, so he takes. Oh. The, he has to do what he, he has finally, to do. He's a relationship he finally, man. He finally tricked the girl into saying yes. To him, so uh, I can't get real e fine. answers from either of you. All right, what's your most memorable brother fight or battle? I know this one because I won. Uh, we were outside, someone gave us boxing gloves. <laughs> and do either of you ever lose? I no, I punched him. He, he won he, that one. He ran in the house crying. We got in trouble for it though because we're never allowed to fight in public. Mom, growing mom up. Okay. The fight at the end. Smart, yeah. you got to keep that, won that one. Keep that business out <laughs> of the streets, right? How many times have you guys pretended to be each other? Man, uh, I actually answered his draft day call. He was in the bathroom, and I was speaking to Mr. Kraft, talking to him on the phone. As soon as Stop they put check on, I ran to the bathroom and threw the phone to Dev. Like, hey, you talk to him. So, you yeah. did not do Kraft yeah. like that. And I, don't, I still don't know. Well, Kraft Bill, was. Bill thought it was you at the first Super Bowl I played in, so he thought he thought I was Jason. Which thank is, you guys so much for uh, coming here and hanging out today. It was a lot of fun. Well, was awesome. Awesome. Thanks we for appreciate us. it, and thank you guys for hanging with us. We'll be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, right here.